If your desire is to study in the UK for a master's or a PhD degree, then this video is for you. Study is the easiest pathway to relocate abroad, but many cannot afford it. If you fall into this category, then come closer. Let me give you this information. There's a scholarship for you to study for free in the UK. It's a fully funded scholarship, includes your flight ticket from your home country to the UK, and you'll also be given a stipend for upkeep and clothing allowance. Please watch this video to the end because I'll be giving you all the information you need about this scholarship, who is eligible to apply, what are the courses you can study on this scholarship, the duration of the scholarship, the eligibility criteria, the deadline for the scholarship, how to apply, and much more. Just in case you're seeing my video for the first time, my name is Jackie and you're welcome to my channel where I share content to help you relocate abroad to study, to work, and to live. Leave. I have videos on my channel about how to migrate to various countries like the Netherlands, Australia, Portugal, Sweden, New Zealand and other countries. You may want to check them out to know your options. Shout out to my returning subscribers. Thank you for always coming back. So let's get right to it. The scholarship I'm bringing to you today is a Commonwealth Scholarship. This scholarship is brought to you by the Commonwealth Scholarship Commission in the UK, CSC. The CSC is an executive non-departmental public body sponsored by the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office. To date, over 30,000 people have taken up Commonwealth Scholarships since the first group of 175 scholars arrived in the UK in 1960. During those six decades, the scheme has constantly developed, adapting to the very different world of a 56 nation commonwealth of 2022. Let's get into the details of the scholarship. The agency nominated master's program is one of the three master's programs offered by the Commonwealth Scholarship Commission. The Commonwealth Master's Scholarships are for candidates from eligible low and middle income Commonwealth countries to undertake full-time taught scholarship study at a UK university. How to apply Applicants for Commonwealth Master's Scholarships for the 2023-2024 academic year are now open. The closing date for applications, including all supporting documents, is 18th October 2022 at 1400 GMT. Applications must be made using the CSC's online application system. Candidates must apply to one of the below nominating agencies as well as the CSC. Nominating agencies will then put forward candidates to the CSC. The CSC does not accept direct applications for these scholarships. So there are two nominating agencies, the national nominating agencies. This is the main route of applications and then the selected non-governmental organizations and charitable bodies. Each nominating agency oversees its own selection process and may have additional eligibility criteria. Candidates must check with the nominating agency for their specific advice and rules for applying and their own eligibility criteria. Nominating agencies must set their own closing date for applications. Candidates must complete an application using the CSC's online application system in addition to any other application required to be completed by the nominating agency. The CSC is unable to accept any applications that are not submitted via the online application system. Agencies will nominate candidates to the CSC by December 2022. Candidates are advised to complete and submit applications as early as possible as the online application system will be busy in the days leading to the application deadline. So what are the supporting documents? Applications must include supporting documents to be eligible. Note that the candidates are required to collect references on institutions letterhead or an email clearly showing the sender's details from referees and then upload them to the application system in PDF format with their other supporting documents. This is a change from previous years when referees would receive a separate email requesting their statements. Candidates must upload the following documents with the application. Number one is the proof that the applicant is a citizen or has refugee status in an eligible Commonwealth country, a copy of a valid passport or a national ID card showing a photograph, date of birth and country of citizenship. Number two, full transcripts detailing all higher education qualifications, including to date transcripts for any courses currently being studied with certified translations, even not in English. And number three is references from at least two individuals on institutional letterheads. 
If any of the required documentation is not provided by the closing date, the application will be considered ineligible. Candidates can also upload any university admissions letters held for their chosen courses. Candidate eligibility. To apply for these scholarships, candidates must be a citizen of or have been granted refugee status by an eligible Commonwealth country or be a British protected person be permanently resident in an eligible commonwealth country, be available to start academic studies in the UK by the start of the UK academic year in September 2023. By September 2023, hold a first degree of at least upper second class, that is 2-1 honor standard, or a second class degree 2-2 and a relevant postgraduate qualification, usually a master's degree. The CSC would not normally fund a second UK master's degree, if you are applying for a second UK master's degree, you will need to provide justification as to why you wish to undertake this study. Be unable to afford to study in the UK without this scholarship and have provided all supporting documents in the required format. Eligible countries. Only candidates from the eligible countries listed below can apply for Commonwealth Master's Scholarship in 2023 and 2024. On the list, we have Bangladesh, Belize, Botswana, Cameroon, Dominica, Ghana, India, Jamaica, Kenya, Nigeria, and many other countries. So you may want to check the list to find out if your country is eligible. Completing the application form. Applications must be made using the CSC's online application system. In the application form, candidates will be asked to list all undergraduate and postgraduate university qualifications obtained, list up to 10 publications and prizes, provide details of employment history, and explain how each job is relevant to the program to be undertaken in the UK. Provide a statement on the relevance of previous work experience to the proposed scholarship. List names and positions of three referees who are qualified to comment on both capacity to benefit from the proposed scholarships in the UK and the candidate's ability to deliver development impact afterwards. One of your referees must be a current employer. Provide a development impact statement in four parts and then the selection process. Applications will be considered according to the following selection criteria. Academic merit of the candidate, quality of the plan of study, potential impact on the development of the candidate's home country. Tenure and placement. Scholarships are tenable at any approved UK university or higher education institution with which the CSC has a part funding agreement for a specified program of study. Scholarships are to obtain one degree. Funding will not be extended to enable candidates to complete a qualification in addition to or higher than that for which the selection was made. Scholarships are made in respect of full-time study only and no other course of study may be undertaken at the same time. The CSC funds one-year taught master's programs only and does not fund MBAs. And over to the financial assistance, each scholarship provides approved airfare from your home country to the UK and return at the end of your award. The CSC will not reimburse the cost of fares for dependents nor the cost of journeys made before your award is confirmed. Approved tuition fees, full fees are covered by agreements between the CSC and the UK University. The scholars are not liable to pay for any part of the tuition fee. Stipend living allowance at the rate of £1,236 per month or £1,516 per month for those at universities in the London metropolitan area. Warm clothing allowance where applicable, thesis grants towards the cost of preparing a thesis or dissertation, study travel grants towards the cost of study related travel within the UK or overseas. If you have children and are widowed, divorced or a single parent, child allowance of £529 per month for the first child and £131 per month for the second and third child under the age of 16. If you are accompanied by your children and they are living with you at the same address in the UK. General conditions. A Commonwealth scholarship covers fees, approved fares and personal maintenance. Other scholarships, awards or bursaries that cover the same cost may not be held concurrently. The CSC will not be able to offer you scholarship if it would contravene the terms and conditions of another scholarship that you have previously held. You will be required to sign an undertaking to return to your home country as soon as possible after the end of your award.
you should check the CSC website for full information about this scholarship and begin your application immediately. The application process is going to take some time, so you need to start early enough to beat the deadline. If you found this video useful, you know what to do. Give the video a like and, and share it with other people so they can benefit from this information as well. And also subscribe to my channel so you'll be seeing more information like this. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one.